This is instruction on the Google Icebreaker activity for this week. In the lesson, you will find a URL that will be the link for this file. Open up a browser window and place the URL in the, the window so that you can open the file. Notice currently that the link is um, what allows you to edit the file because it is unlisted, which means that um, you only need the link to um, gain access to the file. However, you can change the settings so that is, it is private. Currently it's unlisted. If it's private, then you have to allow users into uh, access into the file. Otherwise, you can make it public, which means anybody that has access to Google Docs can open and edit the file. and that's under the share settings. Okay, so you want to go to the slide menu and choose a slide. Now as you can see there are several slide layouts. Not as many of course as you have in PowerPoint, but there are about five different templates you can choose. My suggestion would be to choose one of the two at the bottom, either the one with the caption or the blank one. I'm going to choose the blank one for this exercise. Then add, I'm going to add a text box, which just allows me to put my name, and I can move that around anywhere on the screen. I'm just going to move it to the top. Okay, then I'm going to insert an image, which I currently have on my computer. So I'm just going to browse. As you can see, you can either use an existing image on your computer, or you can specify one from the internet. This one happened to be on my computer. However, for the next two pictures, I'm actually going to go out to Google Images, find a couple of pictures out on the web, and then simply copy and paste the link to those pictures instead of actually uh, saving them to my PC and uploading them that way. So as you can see, I'm just going to copy and paste the URL, and then the picture will be inserted directly from that web link. Now the only thing to keep in mind here is when you do that, if that picture should ever go away, then of course it will not appear in the presentation anymore. So that's you know the pros and cons of uploading it to your PC and then copying it from there or copying it from the internet. Now uh, go into the speaker's notes by clicking that little icon and make sure that you discuss three pictures about yourself. One for you academically, something that describes you academically, something that describes you professionally, um, or what you aspire to do professionally, and something about you personally. And put the explanation for each three of those pictures, each three of those aspects of you, in the speaker's notes. Just remember that if you've taken pictures from the internet that don't belong to you, please credit them in the picture credits. Okay, the next thing you can do is right click each picture and one of the options you get is incremental reveal. What that will do is it will put a number on your picture and what will happen is every time you click the mouse each picture will appear incrementally um, every time you click the mouse instead of them all appearing at once. So what I'm going to do now is right click each picture and select the incremental reveal option and it will number the pictures in the order that I, um, that I did that. So you see here I'm clicking on the second one, then I'm clicking on the third one. So they get ordered likewise. But you can always go in there, right click it, and change it so that you can rearrange the order with which each picture is displayed via mouse click. Now, it will save automatically every few seconds, but if you want to be sure, you can save it yourself. Now I'm just starting the presentation clicking the arrow and that will incrementally reveal each picture in my slide. Another thing you can do here is from the actions button you can actually show the speaker's notes at the same time as the presentation. And they will appear at the same time. So you'll see all of my speaker's notes that go along with the slide. Now, if you want to download this, you can actually download it to either a PDF document, 
a PowerPoint file, or just a plain text document. So for example, you could send it to somebody and they could just view it as a PDF. You could actually download it as a PowerPoint file, open up the file in PowerPoint and add some of the additional features that Google Docs doesn't have. For example, um, you can narrate it, which you can't do in Google Docs, and uh, you know various other things that are available in PowerPoint. Okay. Now, another thing you can do is if, for example, you wanted to revert back to a previous version. Let's, since we're all working on this together, maybe you accidentally overlaid somebody else's slide or you just want to remove your slide and, and go back and start from fresh. You can actually go into the file menu and select revision history and you can actually go back and see all the various revisions. Every time the file is saved, the revision at that point is saved. So you can actually look and see some of the previous changes incrementally. And if you want, revert back to one of those in the event, again, that maybe you kind of stepped on somebody else's slide. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm just picking a previous version from about two minutes ago. And you'll see what the file looked like at that point. And if you're interested in that version, you can just click revert the version. Otherwise, you can just close that window and go back to the editor. The other thing you can do is you can change the background or the themes. Now, if you change the theme, it's going to change all the slides in the presentation, so be aware of that. A background you can change either on one individual slide or for all of the slides, and you'll see that in just a moment. So there are various themes you can choose from, some different background um, templates, if you will, similar to PowerPoint. Or, similarly, I can go into the Format menu and click Change Background, and I can actually insert a background image. You see there, there's also... There was also a um, fill uh, icon. You can change the, the, the color, for example. And there's a choice here of either changing the existing slide or all the slides in the presentation. So um, hopefully that gives you a little taste of how you can create a slide in Google Docs. So refer to the assignment as well as the lesson for more details. And um, if you have any questions, please be sure to contact me.